This is the River Bride on the north side of Cork City. It flows quietly behind buildings and under bridges and it often goes unnoticed by passing humans. This little river used to power the mills of industry in Blackpool. The industry is long gone, but the river is still here. In Blackpool Village, the River Bride disappears from view. From this point on, it flows underground via a culvert to the River Lee, over a kilometre downstream. After many years of industrial pollution, the river is surprisingly healthy. It supports a rich and biodiverse ecosystem. To see this, we just have to go beneath the surface. Exploring the gravel on the riverbed reveals another world entirely. These tiny creatures are a source of food for the fish and birds who live in and along the river. The dipper uses its wings to submerge itself in the fast-flowing current. It flips stones on the riverbed in search of food. Here's a young grey wagtail being fed by its parent. Grey wagtails can often be seen on riverbanks bobbing their tail feathers and catching flies over the water surface. Probably the most visible of the River Bride residents is the grey heron. A graceful bird and expert angler, it can be seen here in the company of some mallard who are stirring up the riverbed with their feet in search of food. These little ducklings are also in search of food right in the centre of Blackpool village under the watchful eyes of their mother. Also resident in the middle of Blackpool village are these sand martins who are nesting in a disused pipe. The nearby river provides a ready source of food. This bushy-tailed fox was very wary of our trail camera. We we're lucky we got him on camera at all. And here we have the most elusive of River Bride residents, the Eurasian otter. Rarely seen during the day, the otter hunts mostly at night, using his long whiskers to detect prey underwater. Its webbed feet make him a powerful and agile swimmer. Recent surveys along the Bride in Blackpool show that it is a very busy otter corridor and habitat. Where there are fish, there are otters. The following line, taken from a Cork City Biodiversity Action Plan, is not specifically referring to the River Bride, but it may as well be. It says, Even small patches of semi-natural habitat can form part of larger networks linked by rivers, streams, hedgerows or tree lines that are of major importance for both habitats and species. Unfortunately, recent events have resulted in the River Bride to become regarded as a threat. Years of man-made changes to the river, such as building on its floodplains and the straightening of the natural river course, has resulted in flooding. In 2002 and more recently in 2012 and 2013, 
Blackpool was hit by flooding from the River Bride that saw the village submerged. Significant damage was caused to homes and businesses. A lasting impact of this flooding has been the loss of insurance. In March 2021, the Minister for Public Expenditure and Reform confirmed the River Bride Drainage Scheme, also known as the River Bride Flood Relief Scheme. The scheme consists of defence walls and embankments, the removal of existing bridges and other structures, and the culverting of the open stretch of river at Orchard Court in Blackpool Village. The 350 metre section of river, highlighted in this picture with a blue line, will be piped underground in a box culvert, effectively removing all visual traces of the River Bride from Blackpool Village. In the following clip, the section of river to be culverted is shown in a series of photographs taken from river level. The culverting of this 350 metre stretch will leave the village of Blackpool built on the banks of a river without a river. The proposed flood scheme also runs contrary to Cork City Council's own development plan, in which it is stated that development proposals in river corridors shall not involve landfilling, diverting, culverting or realignment of river and stream corridors. Inland Fisheries describes the culverting as the effective sterilisation and permanent loss of approximately 350 metres of fisheries habitat. The loss of foraging habitat will have a permanent significant negative impact on otters on the River Bride. Flooding has had a devastating and long-lasting impact on the people and businesses of Blackpool Village. Is covering over this 350 metre section of river the only solution? Does an alternative option exist? The answer is yes. One of the four options considered for Blackpool was upstream storage, seen here highlighted in red. It was, in fact, the cheapest of the four options considered. This excerpt, taken from the Blackpool Flood Scheme Hydraulic Modelling Report, indicates that the most effective option in terms of level reduction in Blackpool Village is upstream storage. Upstream storage is a system whereby river water is temporarily stored during periods of heavy rainfall, slowing the flow and protecting areas downstream from flooding. Save Our Bride Otters, or SOBO for short, is a community group formed in March 2021. The group is taking a judicial review in the High Court to overturn the decision of the Minister of Public Expenditure and Reform to allow the Blackpool Flood Relief Scheme to proceed. Upstream storage is a much better long-term solution to flooding in Blackpool. The very negative environmental impacts associated with the hard measures of walls and extensive culverting downstream would be greatly reduced, both in the short term and in the long term. The cost of upstream storage would be considerably less than that of the current plan. The added benefit is that the majority of the work could take place out of the densely populated Blackpool area, avoiding considerable disruption and the associated construction risks. 
In 2019, the Irish government declared a climate and biodiversity emergency. We need to look after what we have. Covering over a river in 2021 is not a modern or sustainable solution. We can do much better.